Hey everyone, it's Becca, computer tutor for seniors.com, and um, I'm a little riled up. Is that a word? <laughs> I am riled up today. I, uh, oh gosh, I watched this one guy, Grant Cardone, the sales guy, and he does these rant rants, so I guess I'm going to do a Becca rant today. And uh, it, it's about the retirement villages in Dallas, and here's the deal. Y'all need to step up step up to the challenge of what your residents need. Now there's only, there's only a small percentage of retirement villages, I'm talking about independent living centers and assisted living centers, that truly get that technology computers are a vehicle for connection. Uh, the other 80%, computers just another um, pain in the butt to them. And uh, I'm getting really frustrated talking to so many places, talking to so many senior centers where they're not willing to look at the hardware, the software, the right tools, the right training to get their residents connected. And I got to tell you, if my mom and dad, my parents, anyone in my family, my friends were at some of these where they turned them down, they turned out the tools, this is what I might need. I'm out of there. Like I, I don't have time. I don't have time for that. I don't have time for someone who can't be progressive enough to understand the value of technology. Let me tell you, a book, just just a, a book, is considered technology, and uh, they wouldn't stop books from going in there. So here, here's my challenge: technology helps people. It helps humankind. Helps mankind. Helps uh, decrease isolation. Increase independence. Um, that social loss that's happening when a senior is, is taken from their home, let's say New York, and brought to Dallas, um, which I see just all the time, we're, we're able to connect them. You can connect to your grandkids, your family, uh, your old community newspaper, all online. But if you don't, you're not willing to let your residents get online, that connection is not going to happen. Um, it is a proven fact that someone who is improving their social connection can improve their life expectancy by 3,285 days or, or nine years. Uh, nine, I mean, come on, I mean, at least as a, a business perspective, wouldn't you want your, your customer to uh, remain a customer for, for another nine years? So step up, take care of your people, consider the value, consider what that technology is doing because you've got people like me out there that are pushing and pushing and pushing to connect humankind. I didn't quit my job for shits and giggles, okay? I left my job to fill this niche, to fill a need of people who want to get connected. And uh, I've had about enough. I usually try to keep my videos tips-oriented and positive-oriented, but um, I'm pissed. And I'm going to share it with you guys that I am totally pissed. And this is going on the airwaves. And I don't care because it's for a good cause. And if you believe in your cause, you're going to do whatever it takes. And that's what I'm doing. I'm going to do whatever it takes. Retirement villages, independent living in Dallas, independent living in, or in Fort Worth, assisted living. Step up. Consider the opportunity for your residents to stay connected to the outside world. That shuttle that you bring that takes them to Walmart once a week. It's okay, but it ain't cutting it. It's not cutting it. Teach them how to shop online. It can be done. Technology changes. We've all learned it, but we've got to consider the right gadgets. We've got to find the right software gadgets, the right training for a new user. Don't discount it. I walked in one center, you know, outside of, on, on 635 on LBJ, and I'm not going to name names, but Oh no, my, my residents aren't going to use a computer on LBJ on 635. Uh, you're missing something because your residents want to connect. So that's the question. It's not whether they can use computers. It's not how are they going to use computers. It's the importance of using their phones, their iPhones, the computer that I'm on right now uh, that I can speak to all you guys and have my complete mid-afternoon rant. <laughs> Anyway, uh, really, I'm, I'm a good person. I'm a positive person, but enough is enough. Let's step it up, Dallas. Let's show everyone that we can keep up with the times and we can keep humankind connected. That's all for now. Bye-bye.